Hello everyone! This is definitely not a normal makeup or beauty video, and if you have a sensitive stomach, you've been warned. Start off by going crazy with glue and applying it all over your hand or wherever you want to create this effect. Take a piece of one ply toilet paper and kind of rip it unevenly and apply it on top of your glue and kind of bunch it up as best as you can and stick all the edges and smooth them out. After that you're going to apply another layer of glue on top before applying another layer of toilet paper. And then you're going to repeat those steps one more time so that you have three sheets or layers of toilet paper. Notice that the second layer or second piece of toilet paper is kind of smaller than the first. For my third and last layer, I'm going to apply the smallest pieces of toilet paper. This is kind of going to help with the 3D effect. Then you won't mind cock-cocking this guy when I bring him out. What? You heard me. I grab the guy in my dream. You see me. I know waiting is hard and trust me guys, I'm really impatient, but before this next step, it is important that you wait approximately 5 minutes or until the glue is almost dry. And then, using a sharp object, you can use a toothpick or a bamboo stick, which is what I'm using. You're going to poke some holes through the toilet paper, kind of vary them in shape so that they look more realistic. Please be careful and just cut through your fake skin, not your real skin. For this next step, you have to wait till everything dries 100% completely well. I stood under the air conditioner for about 5 more minutes until it completely dried. And then I'm just using a blending sponge and applying foundation all over it just to kind of color in the whiteness and the edges where the paper meets my skin. Blend it in and remember how important blending is no matter what you do. I was fixing the edges before I go on to my next step. I'm going to use my Halloween paint palette that I got at Walgreens. And I'm going to mix red, black, and brown using a disposable sponge. And I'm just going to dab it around my wound so that it looks like it's bruised and red and bloody and burned, I guess. Or decomposing, whatever you want to call it. Grab a little bit of purple using your finger and dab that on the paper part of your wound. That's just going to add some bruising around that part and it's just going to add a lot of depth and dimension to it. Again, I love to blend. I'm just blending everything in as gently as I can. Now I'm just going to use a small brush for everything that I'm going to do next. The technique that I used is I used black paint to outline the edges of the bigger um, scabs or wounds, whatever. And then red in the center before actually blending everything in. So remember, black on the edges, red in the center, and blend away. Notice how the black just makes the wounds look deep and actually brings the wound to life. Now take your finger and add some brown around the wounds. That's just going to make your skin look burnt and decomposed. Now fake blood, my favorite part. Just add fake blood in the deepest or biggest wounds and dab it away. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave those below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I really, really hope you scare or discuss the crap out of everyone. No.